Media, Film, and Journalism Studies Department at the University of Denver has been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, much like the rest of the world. To keep our community tight-knit through these pressing times, seniors Audrey Yin and Tim Carpenter reached out to a variety of professors to discuss courses they are teaching this quarter, how their research is progressing, and how their lives are changing under social distancing regulations. The MFJS administration is working tirelessly to allow the exceptional education experience that students expect here at DU. These professors are no exception to that. Yes, so I came to the Department of Media, Film, and Journalism Studies two years ago. This quarter, I am only teaching one course, and it is called Real Women. This is actually my all-time favorite course to teach. Um, I'm teaching two classes. One is online and visual journalism, and the other one is an ASM by the name Media and Terrorism. This quarter, I'm teaching just one class, uh, strategic messaging, uh, which you probably took, uh, which is, um, you know, the uh, writing intensive class for uh, strategic communication majors. I'm teaching a class called uh, New Media Law and Regulation, which really is, it's about internet culture and internet regulation. I'm a documentary filmmaker by trade, and pretty much all my courses relate to film production. So uh, right now I'm teaching introduction to field production and editing. Teaching intro to media and culture. And I'm also teaching an ASEM, Identity, Power, and Media Culture, which is also um, interesting because it's a, I've revised it a bit. So it's kind of a new course prep. I've been teaching at DU for 22 years now. And uh, primarily I teach in the television film production area. So this quarter I have adapted my script writing class for online. And then I've also had to adapt the second quarter of the narrative capstone for an online experience. Although this transition to the online course structure has been extremely tedious for our administration, they are still finding time to continue their research. Some professors have been able to continue with their regular research schedules, like Dr. Silver, while other professors, like Dr. De Carvalho and Dr. Capini, have recognized new areas of research regarding changes due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Here's what they had to say. Well, I, I do research generally in media law. Uh, it really hasn't changed my research very much at all. Um, I mean, I'm, I still have access to all the documents I would have access to. I still have uh, uh, access to all the other research from other people that I would need to have research to. Um, if anything, I guess it's, it's making me a little bit more focused. Two main areas of expertise. One is looking at the post-recession era and the, and the intersection of gender and economic discourse and how sexism plays in a role, um, which is really interesting because that I was going further away from that research since we've been gotten further away from the, the recession, and yet now we find ourselves with the current pandemic in the same situation. Interesting in understanding the relationship uh, between different types of social identities uh, and media trust, right? So, for example, um, there is some research uh, that shows that your political identities, your partisan identities, or ideological identities influence media trust, right? I have seen some research uh, when it comes to the differences uh, between Republicans and Democrats, uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, believing in um, um, information on the coronavirus uh, that is um, put out by mass media and uh, scientists. And so there seems to be uh, a lower level of uh, uh, trust. Uh, in addition to discussing their work here at the university, professors also discussed how their lives are changing under social distancing regulations. We acknowledge these are difficult times for everyone, however we think it's extremely important to take the time you need to stay healthy. Although they have been incredibly busy accommodating online courses, professors Schroeder and Dick Carvalho have found time to take a break from work and enjoy their hobbies. My big hobby um, in real life is golfing and um, I haven't been able to go golfing um, at all until yesterday. Um, I took the day, I took part of the day and I uh, did that and it was the most important thing I could have done for my mental health, my physical health as well. Um, so I would encourage everyone to um, step away when they need to and to take care of themselves. I'm really into bar. And so my local studio has been terrific this time, um, throughout this time, excuse me, and they rent out equipment for us to have at our home so we can 
go along. I love the fact that it's live stream. So you still have people like, Hey, Lauren, your form sucks, fix it, you know? And so it's really just seeing that's, you know, to be honest, that is the only sense of normalcy I get in my day to day routine. Um, so I find that I'm doing like, you know, four days a week or so I'm working out five, six days a week just to have that sense of normalcy. We hope this has provided you with a glimpse into these professors lives as well as a sense of the MFJS community we have been missing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Feel free to reach out to any of the MFJS administration for any help, advice, or leadership you may need. On behalf of the entire MFJS community, we hope to see you all very soon. Have a great summer.